Welcome back, everybody, to 2KCW. They're taking about a month break after the Girls' Grand Prix to recollect ourselves here a little bit. Maybe hit a little bit of a restart button on everything. Ladies and gentlemen, coming out first, Reed. Excuse me, John Marty. He's had a series of ups and downs so far in his tenure here in 2KCW. And Marty's going to be going up against a former number one contender for the 2KCW Heavyweight Championship. Reed Carter here in moments. John Marty is a impressive individual nonetheless. We're excited to see what his future will hold here in 2KCW. Of course, this is our first show again after the Girls Grand Prix where we crowned a new heavyweight champion in Devin Andrews. Who's been making his appearances over in GAW, the GAW Academy. But again, coming out first, or coming out next is Reed Carter. He went up against the former champion, Eric Anderson. And lost in that bout. And that's when Devin Andrews made his presence known that he was gunning for the heavyweight championship. He's going to cut the line. Again, he knows his tenure here is short. He's signed, he signed a short-term contract. So he knows what he's doing. And of course, we found ourselves an inaugural women's champion in Dizzy Jet. We will both hear from, we'll hear from both of the new champions later on tonight. In this week's show, tossed across the ring from Reed Carter. Should be the leg by John Marty. Now almost into the brutalizer here from John Marty on the shades of pack here, the brutalizer. Reed able to escape. Again, a technical amateur wrestler Reed is Reed Carter. Carter right, now working on the left arm of John Marty. Now working the collarbone. That's going to be a, it just in that area alone is a lot of different nerves and that can destroy a body in many different ways. Cover here by Carter, immediate kick out from Marty. Of course, as of now, the current number one contender for the 2KCW title is Ultimate Death. We defeated the former number one contender, Reed Carter, prior to his match against Eric Anderson. Ultimate Death even defeated the current champion Andrews in a build up to his match against Anderson. Kick out by Marty. Reed Carter from Springfield, Illinois, folks. Double leg takedown again. That amateur background I mentioned. Jack in the cover. Rope break by the referee. And now overhead belly to belly suplex from Carter. Beautifully done. Over here and one count again. Kick out by Marty. Back up on his feet. Marty trying to build a bit of a comeback here, if at all possible, running shoulder tackle to the lower back of Reed Carter. Snap mare takedown from Marty into the stretch.
Focusing the top of the knee right in the middle of the back of Carter. And now Carter with a rocket kick off the ropes. Not likely to go immediately into the cover. He's going to go for that straight jacket powerbomb that he calls. Going nowhere. Cover here by Carter. And that's going to do it. Reed Carter digs up a victory over John Marty here in our opening contest. Congratulations to Reed Carter on his victory. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to hear from the new from the new 2KCW Heavyweight Champion, Devin Andrews, here in mere moments. Now that I have my prize, that I have come to achieve, I am a fighting champion. As long as I am the champion, I will defend my title. That's why in the main event, I will be defending against the former champion, Eric Anderson. Well, straight to the point is our champion, Eric Devin Andrews, will be defending the title here in our main event against Eric Anderson. Coming out first, we got Charlie Evans in our women's division. Evans has made quite a name for herself at the expense of the Suicide Blondes who were taken out, removed rather, out of the Girls Grand Prix Tournament in a losing effort to this woman and her best friend. Tori Crawford, accompanied by her best friend Tia Green. In a surprise match for the Suicide Blondes that they had to put their spots on the line in the Girls Grand Prix Tournament to the debuting Green and Crawford. But given how their performances went in the Grand Prix, I don't want to, I don't know if the Suicide Blondes would have handled any better in their placement and the outcome of the Grand Prix. Again, that tournament was won by Dizzy Jet, who got the bye to the finals because she's undefeated still. But Tori Crawford set for action here against Charlie Evans. Mighty Charlie Evans. The underdog in every fight going up against what well, I, I would honestly be Northern Light Suplex following it up into a stint twisting suplex. The always impressive Tori Crawford. Dragon Screw takedown from Charlie. Right forearm misses by Charlie. Low kick there by Crawford. Charlie with the speed advantage, at least for the moment. Crawford catching the leg. With an inside kick into the corner. Up on the shoulders, rolling Death Valley driver. My God. The height that Charlie got off that Death Valley driver. Snap DDT into the kip up by Crawford. Crawford's just showing off at this point. Now what's she doing for a running elbow? The size of Crawford, I don't want a woman of that size to come crashing down on. Might have to move with an elbow drop cover here to go by Charlie. Into the corner, Charlie into a running drop kick from Crawford. My God, could have. 
Drogan a rib or two off that drop kick. Now Crawford setting up Charlie, looking for a power bomb. Sunset flip cover by Charlie. Counter by Crawford, kick out at one. The sunset flip. Northern light suplex by Charlie. Charlie's got to be aware of Tia Green out on the out on the floor. Into the neck breaker from Charlie Evans. Sweeps the leg. Does Crawford. And now just taunting and toying with Charlie Evans here. Green with a knee strike right into the face of Evans, almost like right into the looking to possibly even break her nose. Crawford, what's she looking for here in the corner? I say it almost looked like she could have been going for a spear, but I don't know what she was going for there. It doesn't matter. Boston leg, Boston crab, rather. I'll take a time off. What do you want me to do? Seems like Boston Crab into the drop toe hold from Charlie Evans. Charlie is sending up to the top turnbuckle. What's she looking for here? Looking for something big. Looking for a hurricane run off the top turnbuckle. Taking down Crawford. Jawbreaker by Crawford to Evans. And now we do have a move. We're uh, looking for cross-faced chicken wing here by Green, or excuse me, by Crawford to Evans, and Charlie has no choice but to tap out of a cross-faced chicken wing. thought Crawford was going to be going for that face buster that she's hit so many times in her matches so far. Crawford's not done with Charlie with young Charlie come on as much as I don't want to cut away from the action folks we're gonna hear from our new women's champion this is Jet the winner of the girls Grand Prix and the inaugural women's champion all I can say is it's about damn time I know it you know it and now everyone knows it I am a history making champion who is still undefeated no woman can touch me here in 2kcw I have defeated Beth Phoenix I have defeated Candice LeRae I have defeated the majority of the roster I know there are a couple of new faces here and there. I, I will have no trouble kicking their asses as well. Well, you can't say our champion is shy. Dizzy definitely speaking her mind. And she can rightfully do so as the women's champion. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, our main event, 2KCW Heavyweight Title on the line. Don't go anywhere. It's now time for our main event, 2KCW Heavyweight Championship on the line. Here comes the former champion, Eric Anderson. It's almost, a, it's almost a little disbelief to see him walking out of here without the championship around his waist. Then he defeated Leroy Punchbeef in a first blood match to win the title. We would successfully retain it against... Reed Carter, who we saw in our opening contest. But loses it to Devin Andrews at the Girls' Grand Prix. So without further ado, let's get the champion out here. Devin Andrews, the new heavyweight champion. Certainly been making his presence known again, as I alluded to earlier, in the GAW Academy to support his brother, Kurt Andrews, who is the current 
Academy champion over there. Devin making waves of his own. Going up against Scott Danielson. But Devin still has, obviously, to fulfill his obligations here into KCW, and he might as well do it as long as he's a champion. Again, the next challenger at this point is ultimate death for that championship that Andrews holds high above his head with pride, of course, being the champion. And here we go with our main event title on the line. Here we go. Anderson with a running bulldog to the champion. Anderson in full control here of Andrews. Now shoving him off, looking for a belly to belly suplex was Andrews to Anderson. Gut kick. Close line taken down. Anderson. Very unorthodox style is Devin Andrews. You see, just wrenching on the shoulders by leaning on the upper back of Anderson here. Anderson back on his feet, flying cross body. And now, who the. Oh no. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. wait. In a world, wait, in a championship match, ladies and gentlemen, that's, no way, that's, look at the size of this man, super kick, that's Kendrick Gore. Kendrick Gore is here in 2KCW, a Olympic slam. Kendrick Gore making his presence known in this title match, going right after the former champion. Kendrick Gore is here in 2KCW, folks.